Okay, uh, uh, now you've got your Savannah Stoker controller installed. I'm gonna, on your camp chef, I'm gonna walk through a, uh, just a very simple startup procedure. And once you have the power connected, you'll notice the red light up in the upper left hand corner. And uh, you wanna make sure you have your, um, the lid open during startup. We'll come over here and we'll just press the um, power button. Um, let me zoom in here. You'll notice on the uh, display you've got two different values here. You have the top value which that's your your current temperature inside the cooking chamber. This is your set temperature. It defaults to 180 degrees. You have some lights across the bottom down here. You have a fan light, you have a niche igniter light, you have an automatic manual light, and then you have an auger light. When the auger is running, that green light will be on. So, for example, let's say if we want to set this once it's once it's uh, once it starts up, you can change the temperature, uh, whatever you want. You can change it to uh, uh, you can just push and hold this button, or you can move the cursor over. Oh, hit the wrong button. <laughs> uh, you got to have it like that. Now you can move the cursor over, and you can change it like that. So that's 200. We can press it again and move it over. And we can go down, we'll go down to 225. Uh, press the AM key again and get it back to the ones column and then we'll go, go up to five. Uh, like I said, or you can just press and hold either button and it will quickly go through it. The one thing that is different about uh, a PID controller is that as soon as you start seeing, uh, you know, the, the whitish, grayish smoke coming out, you want to close the lid. Uh, once there's a fire started, uh, you want to go ahead and, and close the lid. I highly recommend reading through the manual before you start um, the installation. The installation might be a little bit different on our camp chef, slightly different than it is on uh, according to the instructions. Uh, uh, the instructions says that you can use the same sensor, but uh, on our camp chef we cannot. Um, so. But I highly recommend that you go through and read the instruction manual. There's a lot of, of parameters that, that can be adjusted in this uh, controller. I would caution, I would use, very, use a lot of caution when it comes to editing parameters if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, just uh, hook it up, uh, run it, uh, read the uh, instruction, and I'll, I'll do another video in the future that will we'll go over a few more things related uh, you know to maybe doing an auto tune or different things like that but in the beginning uh, it should work right out of the box put it in plug it up and and run it uh, Don't let all the different features overwhelm you. There are a lot. Not all of them are necessary to be adjusted. Um, so that's one of the nice things about it. But don't be over too over consumed about it. It's just put it in, use it. Um, there will be some specific settings that you may want to adjust as a starting point for the camp chef, and I'll talk about those later.
Okay, we have reached our set temperature of 225 degrees. I'm going to end this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel, to our Savannah Stokers user group, and look for more informational videos in the future. Thank you.